Well, a lot of the concerns around fat and saturated fat in particular uh, being a risk factor for heart disease are driven by this really outdated paradigm we call the diet heart hypothesis, which was Ansel Keys in this. 70s um, really is when it, it really started to gain momentum. But this is, you know, based on the idea that fat increases in dietary fat, increase blood cholesterol, which in turn increase your risk for heart disease. And we've spent 40 years trying to prove this hypothesis. And, you know, it's got more holes than Swiss cheese. So um, we really need to rethink this because there's no good evidence that this is the case. Um, and yet, you know, we're, we continue to, to really base our guidelines on this belief, you know, and villainize and demonize saturated fat as, as causing heart disease. But there's very good evidence now that accumulation of saturated fat in the body is driven by carbohydrates, not the dietary saturated fat we eat. And that's what's really important. You know, are you accumulating saturated fat in your arteries, in your membranes? In your, in your plasma, and that's clearly not the case on a ketogenic diet. We've now shown in three separate studies that saturated fat levels in the body actually go down on a ketogenic diet despite eating two to three times the level of saturated fat. And that seems paradoxical, or, you know, but you know, we, if you think about it, um, the primary metabolic adaptation to a ketogenic diet is to enhance oxidation of fat or burning of fat and saturated fat's a perfectly good fuel. So when you're on a ketogenic diet, that saturated fat you're eating is getting promptly oxidized or burned and converted to CO2 in water. And it's hard to imagine that's going to cause any harmful effects.